Hey guys, I'm finally back in front of the camera. It has been a little while. For those who are just stumbling upon my channel for the first time, my name is Kurt Provost and I am your guide to all things new skin. Now, as your guide to all things new skin, I do my best to take my time and answer your questions on this channel. And you have many, many questions. But over the last month or two, I have been super busy because we bought a property and have been renovating that property 10 plus hours a day. It was intense but enjoyable and fulfilling and is thankfully done now. So I'm finally getting back to uh, a backlog of questions that have remained unanswered. This is going to be a Q&A where I will attempt to answer as many of those as possible. And who knows, if uh, you engage with this channel in the last month or so, asked a question, left a comment, you may just be featured in this video, so enjoy. All right, diving into the very first one. Actually, before I dive in, I'll do a little disclaimer and say these are my own personal opinions. I do not represent the company in regards to being their spokesperson. The company never makes any medical claims or saying they can treat, cure, mitigate anything. So, with that in mind, let's proceed cautiously. All right, the first question is from Irene and she is commenting on the Renew Spa USA video. And uh, the question is, can you use after lipo? Always keep in mind, whenever you are going through surgery, you want to at least, at the very least, wait for the cuts, uh, wait for the bruises and things to heal before doing any treatment on the surface. Personally, I couldn't see any issue with that as long as you've waited for the cuts to heal. On to the next question. Uh, from Susan, this is on the uh, New Skin Galvanic Spa tutorial video, which is probably my most famous video and uh, still gets the most questions on it, which is great. So I used my Galvanic for the first time. This may sound like a silly question. Should you feel any tingling in the skin? It's not a silly question. It's a common question that people have and we feel like we should feel something, right? As we're doing this. But a lot of the times with microcurrent, it's exactly as the name describes. They are micro. They're tiny currents, and so quite often you won't feel anything. It's designed so that you're not actually meant to feel anything, but everyone is different. So some people will feel something. Uh, sometimes it's a warmth, sometimes it's a tingling, sometimes uh, you will be tasting things in, in your mouth. And so it, it all depends on you and your skin, but I would say the vast majority of people feel absolutely nothing. And uh, it also has to do with the hydration of your skin. So on one day you may feel nothing, on another day you may feel something. So um, it's not something to be concerned about. That's why the device is bipping as you're using it, so that it's giving you the feedback that it, it the current is still working, it's still connected, and you can watch the rest of that Galvanic Spa tutorial video uh, so that you know what I'm talking about there. Let's move on to Chris. He's commenting on the AgeLock Boost Mistakes video, and he asks, hi, what happens if you use a different serum? Will the device break? Well, no, I don't believe the device will break, but I, I don't know. <laughs> it depends on what serum you are talking about. Is another serum from New Skin? Is another serum from a different company entirely? Um, always when people are trying to kind of mix and match products, I just tell them that, simply put, the product was designed by over 75 full-time scientists that their job is to go in there and figure out, all right, how can we make you look your absolute best? How can we make you feel your absolute best? And they design these products based on the best science available at the time. And uh, they will do their own studies. They will do their own clinicals. And in order to get the results that you see in those clinicals, I'll throw up some before and afters right here for you, uh, of the AgeLog Boost, uh, they are clinical results that you are witnessing. If you want to experience something like that, then it would make sense to use the serum that is designed to be used with the device. If you want to experiment on your face, by all means, go for it. I can never stop you doing that. That is your skin and it is your prerogative to uh, make experiments on it. I am not so keen to experiment on my face. That is the part of my body that's seen by the world the most. And so I stick with what is recommended by the company. In regards to uh, the 
I guess, the science of can you use another serum? Well, with microcurrent devices, then generally, yes, you can, as long as it's providing the medium uh, for the current to conduct, then yeah, it could work. But will you get the results that you see in these clinicals? It's a big question mark. And uh, will you end up doing more harm than good? It's a big question mark there. So I would steer clear of that. All right, uh, the next question is from TK. And this was on the US Facial Spa video. It said, hi Kurt, quick question. The US website lists self-adjusting galvanic technology for the new skin facial spa. I know you mentioned the US version uses microcurrent. That's not galvanic current, but this means they do. And this is a really tricky question because uh, you have discovered something that I believe in general you are correct. And that's because of the regulatory agencies of different countries. They tend to make life very complicated and um, the one in the US, which is the FDA, is probably the largest and most complicated one of all of them. <laughs> that is why there are some devices that uh, have to go through extra hurdles to end up on the market. So the galvanic face bar was available, uh, just the same one that was found in all the other international markets. And then at some point, a number of years ago, it had a challenge because it was actually doing something to the skin which would move it out of the cosmetic classification because if it's something is cosmetic, then it's not actually doing anything on a deeper layer of the skin. And it needed to go through a medical classification. And that is a very slow, very expensive process. And that's what the uh, spa went through and it came out the other side being called the facial spa and it is a microcurrent device, but they removed the mentioning of galvanic current. Now I went and checked out on the website of the US and you're right, there is a little sticker there, although they say microcurrent device, a uh, little sticker down the bottom that has the word galvanic in there. I'm not going to comment on that too much, but when you look into, because uh, I don't want to get in trouble here, but um, when you read the, the uh, information pages between the international model and the US model, the differences are very, very minor. Uh, and I think it more had to do with uh, just getting it reclassified based on semantics of a regulatory agency than actual major differences in the device. Hope that made sense. That probably got a little confusing. Um, uh, it's it's difficult topic to discuss because I definitely don't want to be the one that suddenly draws um, attention from those regulatory agencies onto uh, this aspect of the company. So we have next question from Mesaban, and that is on the True Face Line Corrector video. Hi Kurt, what's the difference between True Face Essence Ultra and True Face Line Corrector? And do I need both for my routine? Well, uh, there's quite a few differences. I recommend going and watching that video again uh, because the True Face Line Corrector, I talk about what that product is and it's in the simplest form. It's a peptide cream, great for lines as the name suggests. Whereas True Face Essence Ultra, which is part of the same skincare range and they're designed to work together synergistically, uh, True Face Essence Ultra is a serum. So it's not a peptide cream like the line corrector and the line corrector is, is also acting like a intense moisturizer as well. So I would put it more in the moisturizer category and then you have True Face Essence Ultra over here in the serum category. Now serum has the most concentrated ingredients. Uh, they are generally going to be a much smaller molecular weight so they'll penetrate deeper into the skin and they will generally be a much higher price because they contain very expensive ingredients. Uh, will you benefit from, like, do you need to use both of them? You'll definitely benefit from both of them. I don't know you personally and all your personal circumstances, what your goals are, so I can't really comment on that too much, but I would say in general, they will work really well together. And if it's possible for you, if it's within the budget, then I would say, yeah, Go for it. <laughs> that whole range, I love the True Face range. It's 
fantastic with the the priming solution with the line corrector with the uplifting cream with the essence ultra fantastic products if you can use them and afford to use all of them go for it so we have another question actually this i believe was translated from bulgarian so uh it said something about the black head on the Lumis bar won't turn anymore on their four-year-old Lumis bar. Uh, so the part that they're referring to would be this part. This is the older model Lumis bar. So that's the one that they would have. And this is the black uh, head. Now, if it's not turning anymore and it's out of warranty, these, depending on what part of the world you're in, usually it's a two-year warranty on the Lumis bar. Uh, most likely you're going to need a new one. Uh, things break, especially when they're being thrown around, used regularly, all that sort of stuff. They wear and tear. Uh, so you probably need to get a new one, but I have heard people do this and I've never done it personally myself that you can actually tighten this or try tightening that. Maybe give that a go, but if it breaks, that's on you, not on me. I don't recommend doing that. It's just something that I've heard some people doing. So Maybe that's an option for you if you are not interested in getting a new one. But I think most likely it's time to get a new one. And if you're getting a new Lumispar, I recommend upgrading to the Lumispar IO. It uh, is much sturdier. It's had a bunch of upgrades that make it uh, last longer and also have that connectability with the app so you can guide yourself through the process. You can track your usage, all of that stuff. You can check out the video here. All right, so Vivian on the Well Spa versus the Body Spa video asks, can the Well Spa replace the Body Spa? It seems the Well Spa IO is much better than the Body Spa. So why is New Skin still keeping the Body Spa on the list? Thank you. Well, I think you've answered the question in your question. <laughs> the part where you said, it seems the Well Spa IO is much better than the Body Spa. That is correct. It is. It's uh, much more advanced, it's much more tailored to your own skin and it's going to get you much better results. It's just, it's come out later, so yes, it will be phased out slowly. Um, and thank you to Saluna Luna who answered this question for me. I really appreciate that, that's fantastic. So uh, Luna said they are going to discontinue the body spa, which I believe that is correct. It's just different markets, different timing. Some markets you will still see it, other markets you won't see it at all because markets like the US, they never had the body spa in the first place. So the Renew Spa that is launched has launched there is uh, a much welcomed addition to the new skin family in the US, that's for sure. So next question is from Deborah on the Well Spa leg tutorial video. Uh, the first comment was activating gel link. Not sure what you mean by that, but let's read the next comment that you left. Can you use different conductor gels with this product? Uh, if you're referring to the different gels from New Skin, uh, you have in the US, there's the conductor gel for it. And then uh, there's the activating gel and then the serum, the body serum. Yes, 100%, go for it. If you're referring to other products from other companies that aren't designed to be used with this state-of-the-art piece of technology, I would say refer to one of the first questions that I just answered on this video in regards to can you use a different serum for the age-lock boost. It's the same answer as that, except I would say the Well Spa is even more technologically advanced and therefore it needs the right serum to go with it. I would not be experimenting with any random conductive gel that you buy off Amazon. Uh, activating gel link, I think, I think that's what you were referring to. Can you use it with the activating gel? Yes, you certainly can, it's designed for that. All right, next question, we got Naomi uh, commenting on the are you using HLOC Boost properly video. Hi, is the device supposed to be buzzing throughout the treatment? When I use it, it buzzes sometimes, but not all the time, it's just quiet, uh, which makes me think nothing is happening. This is a very, very common mistake that people make with the Boost, and that is that they swipe the finger up, turn it on. Actually, I'll just show you. So I believe I go through it in the video that Naomi comments on, but I'll do it again for this video. Hopefully you can see. So to activate the boost, you swipe your finger up and you 
you see those lights come on and it vibrates because now this is in standby mode you apply the serum on here apply it to your face uh, smooth it around the area and then you're ready to activate it you slide your finger up and it's buzzing i'll put it near the microphone okay so it will buzz as you're using it because it's been activated. It's not buzzing right now because there's no serum on there and then it's not on my skin, so it's not getting the connection. So I'll slide that down to turn it off. That is how you know it's working. It's gonna buzz throughout the process. If it's silent, then you've just got it on standby mode. It's not, there's no microcurrent being emitted. You're just using it like a spatula to smooth it over your skin, which probably feels nice but you're getting no benefit of the microcurrent. You will get a benefit from the serum itself because that serum with the boost, the activating serum, is amazing. It's full of so much great stuff. You can check out this video here uh, that goes into it a lot more. So you'll still probably see some differences. I had a client who was like, I, I see a difference, but I just, it, it doesn't seem like it's working while I'm using it. They used it for two months of just smoothing it on their face without actually turning it on properly. So that's my fault. I should have been um, onto them. My, I followed up with them much faster than that, but I didn't. So yes, you want to be making sure you're swiping up twice and then it will be buzzing. It will be making a sound as it's going through. Hope that helps. Hopefully you've figured that out already. Otherwise that's probably a month or so since you wrote that comment. Moving on to the next question. Uh, no way Jose, I like the name. He commented on a uh, Wellspa demo video and says in the US it only comes with the conductive gel. What other products can be used with it? Great question. This is a similar case to that very tricky question uh, in regards to the galvanic spa and the facial spa in the US that I uh, mentioned earlier. Well, same or similar story ex happened with the Well Spa going to the US. It had to go through a medical classification. It became the Renew Spa and it has the conductive gel with it, which is has also gone through the medical classification uh, just as the conductive gel for the facial spa went through that same process. And so technically that is what it is sold with. That is what is uh, meant to be used with there. However, there are products that um, it will also benefit us to use. So I'm going to be very careful with the way I say this. And I would say check out the Dematic Effects line. There's some fantastic products there that you will see uh, appear similar to the ones that I have on the shelf behind me. I'm just really not sure how much I can say about that. It's, uh, it's a tricky one to answer, but yes. Yes, there, there are in, in regards to that. I believe there are. So D. Kila uh, commented on New Skin Galvanic Spa tutorial video. Curious, as it draws out the impurities, where do they go? Are they on the galvanic facial spa plate? Are they sitting on top of the skin and rinsed off before applying the serum? Cool question. I haven't actually been asked that before. Uh, yeah, it, it will be in the gel. So it's kind of a bit of both it, because there's gel that will be on the plate of the face bar that you see behind me. And so that's why you want to rinse that off and get that first gel off. It'll also be on the skin. You want to rinse that off in preparation for the second gel. You just rinse it off with water and, uh, and then afterwards you'll be doing the second treatment. You can let that soak in a little bit and then rinse all the excess gel off and it'll take whatever it's drawn out of the skin along with it. So the next question is from Ellen on the Top Lumi Spa Mistakes video. And she asks, is it wise to get fillers and Botox if using the Lumi Spa? In general, I say it's not wise to get fillers and Botox. In general, there's always uh, unique circumstances where it may make sense, but uh, if you're using the new skin products, especially the facial spa that you see behind me, if you're using Lumi Spa and a great routine with the True Face products, especially the serums or with the Age Lock in particular, uh, the Future Serum, the Transforming Night, I believe that uh, things like Botox and fillers won't really be necessary. And just, it's, the long-term risk that is what I'm concerned about. But I plan on making a video about uh, my thoughts on 
Botox fillers, things like that, and the comparison with using devices and the safety around that. But you're asking, is it wise to get fillers and Botox if using the LumiSpa? Well, like the very first question I've answered on here, you want to be uh, making sure that any punctures to the skin, any cuts to the skin are healed before you use any devices. So give it you know, a week or two, let everything heal, let everything settle down, and then it'll be fine. Go for it. So next one is from V Young on the Govern Expo tutorial video. This video is three years old. Is there a device that is better than galvanic spa fantastic question and it's something that i probably should make a video about because i'm with new skin obviously i am your guide to all things new skin and i'm with new skin for a number of reasons uh, one of them is their science basis everything is founded in science and there is a massive team of scientists in multiple centers around the world that their sole purpose is to research what is the latest and greatest, check out what is going on out there in the market and see if they can do it better, see if they can use that information, that knowledge and improve the products that we have that are existing or create new products. And that's why uh, you see things like the well star of my shoulder. That's something that was 20 years in the making and tons of research. So in regards to the face, um, I would say no. I don't believe there is something better out there. I, I believe that there are many things that claim and make really big claims and there seems to be a lot of hype around them and many things that uh, are giving a lot of promises. However, they haven't stood the test of time yet and I'm very wary of many of the new procedures that are coming out that um, say we can do all of this and maybe it can, but what at what cost for your skin? Whereas with Galvanic, it is something that has been around for decades. It is something that has really proven to be effective. It's something that has proven to be safe. And I think those two things right there are the most important. You want to make sure you're using something that is safe for you to use it long term for the rest of your life. And you want to be using something that actually is proven to work and be effective. And that is something that the Galvanic Face Bar and many of the devices you see behind me have proven to be. And so, yes, it's an older video now, but it's still relevant and it will still give you fantastic results. And I will still stick with that over all the uh, new stuff that's coming up that hasn't stood the test of time yet. So Paula commented on the Wellspa update video, what color should the currency be on the Renew Spa? I have no idea what you're talking about there. Um, what color should the currency be on the Renew Spa? I, the only thing I can think that you're referring to is, is maybe uh, what color the current should be on the Renew Spa. But even then, I, I'm not really sure. You might be referring to the current that you can see in the app. Uh, in that case, check out this video here and you'll see what color it is. I'm not sure why that that's important. I may be misunderstanding your question. If you want to rephrase it, I will re-answer it. <laughs> All right, next up we have Jan on the New Skin Galvanic Spa tutorial video. I've got this and the Lumi Spa, but unfortunately can't afford the creams anymore and noticed my skin aging since I've stopped using it. They should do monthly payments. It's so expensive to buy outright. Outright, I was spending 400 to 500 on each order. I'm sorry to hear that, Jen. Um, 400 to 500, I don't know what currency that is, but that it's probably a lot. Uh, the good news is they do do monthly payments. Uh, it just depends on what market you're in. I believe most markets now have a, a system or a mechanism on the website for you to pay through monthly installments. I know that's super popular uh, here in Australia. We've got PayPal to do that and Zip. In the US, there's a bunch of different things. Latin America, there's a bunch of different things. So it just depends on the market that you're in. I would say that um, the expense though, uh, it, some people will say these products are expensive, but it, it depends what you're comparing them with. 
Because if you're comparing it to just a cream that you buy from a supermarket, sure, that seems really expensive to purchase a device that's maybe $500 or $600, depending where you are in the world. However, compared to the treatment that you would be getting at a salon, uh, from an esthetician, uh, at a high-end medispa, they are extremely affordable. <laughs> in fact, I would call them cheap in comparison when you consider the results that they deliver and that they are backed by things like performance guarantees, which is where they are actually guaranteeing to give you a result when most of those treatments that you spend an absolute fortune on. I mean, I know I have a bunch of friends who are girls all my age and the first thing they did when they started to notice the signs and symptoms of aging is run off to beauty salons and spend thousands of dollars on treatments that made their face look terrible. It's just, it took weeks for them to heal from it, and I think it's a little worse than it was before. Or they could have invested a quarter of what they'd spent at those salons in a device like the one over my shoulder, and use that a couple of times a week, 15, 20 minutes or so, and be looking fantastic. So, it all depends on what it's being compared with. But I am sorry to hear that you've stopped using it and that you're noticing a difference from there. That, that does tend to happen. Uh, people often ask, that's another question that, that comes up a lot, is that if I stop using this, what will happen? Will the results go away or will I stay the same forever? Well, I don't think anyone stays the same forever in anything, uh, in any area of their life, particularly in appearance. We're all constantly in a state of flux and change. And it's more akin to uh, going to a gym and working out. And you work out, you work out, and then you get into the shape that you want. Your, your optimum body shape and weight. And uh, if you stop going to the gym that week or the following week, will you immediately balloon out? Will you immediately become fat again? And the answer is no. It will take time and it will depend on your lifestyle changes. So these devices are quite like that. So it'll take some work to get to the result that you want, depending on your skin type, depending on who you are and what you do in your lifestyle. And then once you're there, you can ratchet it down a little uh, a notch so that you're in a maintenance level and you're using it uh, less frequently, but enough to maintain the results that you want. Now, if you stop using it all together, then that means that the inputs into your body have changed and therefore you will change with time. So it, it's just a matter of how fast that will be and that's gonna be different for everyone. All right, next question is from Kay Peters on the US face bar versus the galvanic face bar video. I'm in the US and I bought a used galvanic face bar. Have no idea how to tell if it's the US version or international version. That's what happens when you buy off random sites. Uh, is there a way to tell the difference by markings? I've seen photos that say facial spa, uh, where others say age lock, but in your video it shows both saying age lock. I appreciate any insight you may have to offer. Uh, not sure I can help too much, uh, but in regards to the ones in my video both saying age lock, that's because they're both the galvanic face bar, the international model, because I'm here in Australia, I don't actually have a facial spa from the US. So I was just using the same one. They look, as you realized, identical, except for the words on it. So I'm guessing that the one in the US will say facial spa on it. And the international one will say age lock. I could be wrong though. I've never checked in with any of my clients to get them to send me a photo or anything. Um, let me know what you discover if, uh, if anything else pops up. So we have Danielle and the New Skin Boost versus Galvanic Spa video. Hi Kurt, thanks for your video. Can you please explain the difference between a microcurrent and galvanic current further, especially as it relates to building collagen and stimulating ATP and the likes? I'm a bit confused. It also seems that many products such as New Face are using microcurrent technology, but not the galvanic current in particular. Ha, huh, it's a big question. Uh, okay, so Microcurrent and galvanic are, I can't say they're the same thing, but they kind of are because galvanic is a type of microcurrent. So microcurrent is the broad umbrella 
and then there's different wavelengths, different wave shapes, different wave forms, uh, different pulsing of the waves, different polarity of the waves. So that's going to create some variation within the different types of microcurrent. And galvanic is a direct current, so it's flowing just one direction. And it's used, used mainly as a vehicle for transporting ingredients deeper into the skin. So many of the benefits coming from the galvanic spa, and, and this is why it's a fantastic anti-aging tool, is because it, it really helps to deliver great anti-aging ingredients deeper into the skin where they can actually take effect rather than just sitting on the surface, which is technically dead skin, and hydrating it, making it feel a little plumper, making it look a little smoother, but not changing the structure, not improving uh, and, and putting those active ingredients to work. So that's the power of the galvanic current and the galvanic spire, to drive those fantastic ingredients, as long as you're using fantastic ingredients. If it's coming from new skin, you are, so congratulations. Driving those deeper into the skin to take effect. So for collagen stimulating, ATP production, things like that, then, well, great, that's gonna be the focus. There is also a benefit, uh, but this gets more scientific, talking about the polarity, uh, changing the polarity and kind of resetting the polarity of our actual cells. We don't focus so much on that, but there is a benefit there from the galvanic as well. The microcurrent also has an effect on that. Uh, in regards to ATP, I am by no means an expert on that. I would have to look into uh, the and read all the stuff on those particular products to find anything like that. The best person for that, or the best people for that, is to message NewSkin, send them an email, you can send it to product specialist or product expert at newskin.com, depending on which market you're in, there's different emails. But there are a team of uh, product experts who have access to all the great scientific information. They'll be able to point you in the right direction from there. Whenever I'm in a pickle, I'll send them an email. They're really, really helpful. All right, we're getting close to the end now. We've got uh, Julie on how to ditch your double chins video. So I have the Galvanic Spa 2 and unsure what setting to use if I'm not using pre-treatment and follow-up gel. Can you please help? That's a little confusing to me. Um, if you're not using the pre-treatment and the follow-up gel, uh, so you're, you're wanting to use it with the blue gel, I'm assuming, uh, that you see here. So what setting would you use it on? I don't know for the older model ones, but I would assume it would be the same setting for the modern one. You could give that a try, but I really, I'm not sure on that. Uh, and I'm not sure if that's even what you're referring to. So if you want to maybe reword it, clarify it, I'm happy to have another go. <laughs> All right, so the last one is from Laugh on the Age Lock Youth video. Hello, Kurt, thank you for the video and explanation. You're welcome. It's been a couple of years since the video. Has there been any additional consumer or research info about this product to help uh, make me aware of, perhaps? Or any newer product from the company that is better than this for similar anti-aging gene expression? Thanks for your time. Good question. So the first one, you are asking about any research, any new info that has popped up. Once I create a video, I don't generally revisit it all that much unless there's some massive news or some massive upgrade and change to it. The best people for that are those product experts at NewSkin. You can contact them through product specialist or product expert at NewSkin.com and they'll have access to all the latest scientific data uh, clinical studies, things like that, that they can send to you to keep you up to date with all of that. In regards to, is there something better than it? Agelog Youth Y-Span, it has really become the bedrock of the nutritional system in regards to anti-aging. I don't believe there's anything better than it. It is still the best. I still take it every single day. It is the uh, main pillar of my nutritional regime, my nutritional life insurance policy of sorts. And although there have been new products, uh, I don't think anything that falls into the same category as Agelock Youth, which is focusing on, well, 
it's hard to pin down exactly what it's focusing on. I guess inflammation would be the easiest summary of it, but it affects uh, benefits the brain, cardiovascular system, joints, so many different things. And we haven't got any other supplement that is really as comprehensive as that in that particular field. In regards to gene expression, most of the supplements are working from that uh, angle, from that perspective, particularly anything that says age lock, that is always going to be really heavily focused on influencing the gene expression in a more youthful fashion. So you could check out age lock meta. That's been a huge product, huge supplement since age lock youth. Uh, however, it's not working in the same area as age lock youth. So they're, they're complementing each other because age lock meta is assisting with the, um, metabolic health as opposed to inflammation and general anti-aging as age lock youth has. So guys, I think that is all the questions that I can get through right now. This video is long enough. Hopefully that has been helpful for you. There have been a bunch of other comments on the channel and shouting praise. I'll pop them up here now, I guess. And uh, thank you to every single one of you. I appreciate you leaving a comment. I appreciate uh, that you find these videos useful. And I am grateful to be able to help you on this journey with new skin because together I think we can do a great deal of good out there in the world. So if you enjoyed those answers, if they were useful for you, great free way to support the channel is just give it a thumbs up and then click the subscribe button. I'm running out of words, it's been quite a long video. And uh, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified next time a video like this or like any of the other ones that I have uh, connected to this one pop up for you in your newsfeed. See you in a future video, guys. And if you have any questions or you want to reach out to me because you want to discuss business, then you can find me at Kurt Provost on either Facebook and Instagram or at kurtnewskin at gmail.com. And I look forward to chatting to you there. Ciao, guys.